Good morning Audacious Church or good evening to you all. I hope you're having a great day so far. My name is Janet Pitt and I am part of the Central Campus. We are talking about friendships and relationships at the moment and the obvious one that comes to my mind is the relationship that I have with Andy, my husband. However, I need to go back um, to before I met him first. My first marriage, let's just say, did not go so well. I was very young and he wasn't a Christian um, and now I know that these relationships can work and I have heard stories where people have come to their own relationship with Christ through their partner. This is not one of those stories. Um, looking back I can see that this is not the marriage that God wanted for me and without going into any details no one around me at that time was one bit surprised when that marriage failed, least of all God. Um, but we know that God's plan is perfect and we know that his timing is perfect which is why sometime later when God knew I was ready in came Andy. I was going out for the evening, had popped into Ermston to go to the bank and, and when I arrived I realised I'd forgotten my purse. Instead of going straight back home for it I called into a shop first to see a friend who worked in there and chatting to that friend was Andy. And the rest is history, so to speak. This marriage um, could not be any more different than the first one. Um, and that is because a good relationship should be one that encourages you, brings out the best in you, is thoughtful of the other person and prays for you and with you. And that is the relationship we have now. Um, and is absolutely the right relationship at the right time. Um, but also my friend working in the shop was also the right relationship at the right time in that she was the one who was in the position to introduce us to each other. And when I was thinking about this, it got me to thinking about how many other times in my life I have been impacted by others who have been there for a season in my life. Um, they've got me through hard times, difficult decisions um, and in the good times as well. Just as I, I would hope, have been that person for others when they've needed it. God has always answered prayer um, but sometimes he will use a middleman to do it. Um, so I would just say be ready for when God asks you to be that person. Um, you can be that person that makes that difference for someone else. Um, it doesn't have to be in the big things, it can be in little things, but the the difference that that can make for someone um, can be amazing. Uh, I, I just want to end with a Bible verse, 1 Peter 4 verse 10. The message version says, Be generous with the different things God gave you. Pass them around so we'll get in on it. If words, let it be God's words. If help, let it be God's hearty help. That way God's bright presence will be evident in everything through Jesus and he'll get all the credit as the one mighty in everything on cause to the end of time. I hope you have the best of days and I'll see you all soon. Bye.